Interesting, y'all, I'm so excited. This is gonna look so good. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I just got back from Hobby Lobby where I got uh, the last couple things that I need for this video. As you can tell from the title, this is a pantry, no, a bathroom closet organization video. I'm so excited to do this video. For those of you who have seen this video, I'm gonna link it somewhere. I have been, I mentioned that I have been like really obsessed with like organizational videos. It's just been therapeutic for me. So, um, I'm gonna do my own. Like and subscribe if you have not already, just get that, you know, squared away. So here is the before. And obviously there is a lot to do. Um, I have to go through these towels and go through that box at the top. This second shelf was originally intended for hair products only. That bin I just put in there just to see if they fit. And the rest is just a huge, huge mess. Honestly, we don't really pay attention to this area much because, oh, all bathroom stuff goes in the bathroom closet. But after organizing this and seeing what a difference it has made to just the look, the organization, the aesthetic, it's major. So to do this project, this is what I have. So I got these Dollar Tree bins. This was gonna be like a Dollar Tree kind of situation but everything that I'm using is not from Dollar Tree so those are from the Dollar Tree and this from oh my purse and this is from Hobby Lobby that I got just now I got this bin um that glass jar and these chalk labels I was gonna get the really fancy like sticker um labels but honestly I don't want to pay for someone else to print it very easily and then charge me extra, but I also don't want to pay for my own printer. So I'm just gonna wait on those um, and I'll just do the chalk. Plus I like how the chalk uh, labels look anyway. So without further ado, we're just gonna organize. Um, so like I said, these Dollar Tree bins that I have, I wanted them in all white. I did not want them in turquoise, uh, but the case, when you order online, like the, you order by the case and the case, was a was white and blue. Um, I could have sworn I it had a drop down and I chose white, but that's neither here nor there. And the old me a couple months ago would have been like, I'm just gonna order another case and do. I'll just put the blue ones up. I'll use those later and only use white just to be like stubborn and spend money. But I'm gonna make the blue work. So what I'm think I'm gonna do? I may just do three rows of bins i think i'm gonna do white blue and white because two i'm not gonna do this all blue i'm just i'm just not gonna do that and i also think if i do it that way i may still have enough bins to do my pantry because i'm also going to be doing my pantry really soon so that's where we're at i wonder if there's anything else before i actually start organizing y'all i'm so excited this is gonna look so good so here's just one more quick um, look at this very unorganized closet um, as I mentioned this bin here I've had for a while um, this is honestly the most organized that this closet is um, I have mostly hair products in that bin but honestly as you can tell it has just gotten out of hand I have cotton balls in there lotion um, even some nail products in there this is not organized at all So the first thing that I'm going to do is get everything out of the closet, um, get everything out and clean it really well. As you can see right here, these cotton rounds, that's the reason why I decided to um, put them in certain containers because I just have this thing where I feel like dust gets on the cotton and I'm putting the cotton on my face. I don't know. I know that's true, but it may be extreme, but that's 
the visual that I get every time I go to reach for one of these and it's open. So I really needed to get those organized. So everything is cleaned out for the most part. Um, there is this spot on the floor that I just could not get up. I'm not sure what that is. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to go through these towels and kind of just sift through these older ones. This one is the kind that I typically am searching for, but these older ones, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put in the garage. Um, and we can use those for like washing the cars and stuff. They're just really rough. I typically don't go for those. I'm not sure if Eddie does. This box here, I just need to go through it. Um, turns out there was a bunch of important stuff in there. So this is what we're looking like. All of the stuff on the floor. I found out that I have four bottles of peroxide. Four. Like who needs that much peroxide? Honestly, I wasn't really sure where I wanted the bins to exactly go. You have to kind of play with your space and see what looks better, what works better for you. But um, I just wasn't sure and I wanted to get a really good look. So I went ahead and moved all the towels up to the top where I know I wouldn't put any of these bins um, just to figure out where I wanted everything. So I went ahead and put in the empty bins just to see how it looks and see where everything would go and kind of get a visual before I start actually organizing and putting things back in. Alrighty, so this is where we are so far. Um, I go, I went ahead and moved all the towels to the top. That's to me the easiest part, folding towels, like whatever. Um, so I just got those up there. I think I'm gonna put the bigger towels at the top, dry off towels, just bigger towels at the top and use one of these tubs for washcloths. And yeah, so I took everything out, cleaned it out, and this is what we're looking like. So it is okay to feel kind of overwhelmed with this process because you really don't know um, what all you have until you just have it all out in front of you. So I tried to do this standing up and just kind of grab what I needed and throw it in there um, where I thought it should go, but that didn't work out for me. I ended up having to put it all in front of me, sit on the floor and actually sift through it all um, that way. And then once I had them categorized, then I was able to put them inside the bins.
So this is what I have so far. Um, this top row, I wanted to only have two bins be for hair, but I ended up having these first three bins all full of hair products. The first bin was for shampoos and conditioners, deep conditioners. The second one was for hairsprays and hair oils. This one was for hair wraps and like spray bottles and hair covers like shower caps and stuff. This bin here is for bodies, so lotions, body oils, and stuff. This one is for skincare and teeth. I didn't want to do two separate bins for that because it wouldn't be full at all. That one is first aid, nails, and I'm just still trying to figure out what I want to do with the rest. This section here I wanted to use for um, cotton balls there and then hair ties and like loose bobby pins and stuff right there. And here is the floor. We have made some progress, but still a little bit of ways to go. So I figured out why I had so many bins that were specifically for hair and I didn't realize that a lot of these products are my daughter's. Um, so she has her own bathroom now so I'm going to put together her own bin to keep in her bathroom. She's at the age now where she wants to do her own hair and when she has friends and cousins come over to touch up their own hair um, so it's important for them to have their own access to things so that they could do their own hair. So I'm gonna get her bin together and I'm gonna take it into her bathroom. So as much as I tried to visualize how I wanted it to look, actually seeing it come together, I wasn't too happy about. Um, it, it was just a lot of plastic for me and it really wasn't giving off any character I found. Um, really that is, that's basically what it came down to. I was moving things around a lot, trying to figure out how I could make it look better and look more appealing. Um, but in the end, I just, I realized that it was lacking character. It was just too much plastic. It was too bland looking. Having the labels did help, but you'll see my face in a second where I was like, I realized I'm gonna have to go back to the store. This is early the following morning. I went to Walmart and left out of the house without even looking at myself in the mirror, apparently. So I went to Walmart and picked up a few items. I got this wire basket, these two baskets, smaller, similar basket to the first one. And I plan on putting uh, washcloths in this one and more towels. I'm just putting my final touches, trying to see how I want everything to be folded, which way I want everything to go. Don't get discouraged during your project. You'll just have to play around with your area, with your things and see what best looks for the space that you have. It actually took me a while of moving things around and folding things different ways to get the final look that I wanted.
Now it's time for the final look. So just a quick overview, I got these two baskets from Walmart for about $15 a piece. The reason that they caught my eye, just this this tone, the tannish color I knew would break up the just straight plastic white and blue that I had. I went ahead and purchased some new towels. This dark brown bin really helped to break up the color as well. This was just a perfect excuse for me to go buy new towels. I'm a white towel kind of girl. I love white towels because I can bleach them and really sanitize them the way that I like without having to worry about any color fading. So to go over how I have everything organized, I did get down to two hair bins. This first one I have uh, my shampoos and conditioners. The second, I have my like rollers, brushes. I have a bin for Eddie for his clippers and products that he uses on his hair. my bin for skin and teeth this is where I keep my skincare makeup removers um, extra toothpaste and toothbrushes we have our bin for soaps and body washes here we have bath salts cotton rounds hair ties and bobby pins and cotton balls we have our first aid bin peroxide and the ointment all kinds of ointments I have my bin for nails and feminine products. I'll probably end up changing the name of that bin. Hot tools for my straighteners, curling irons and such. And our bin for body lotions and oils. Down at the bottom is my bin for toilet paper specifically. And a bin for my cleaning products. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this video gave you any kind of motivation or any ideas to help organize your space, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks you guys.